welcome back again to the Delphi family channel and boy do we have something in store for you today so today we're in St. Thomas St. Thomas is one of those one of those parishes that you gotta look out for all right good things happening in St. Thomas exactly. including DW Works yes today we have two wonderful individuals here with us and we're gonna have a conversation that I'm sure you're gonna be very interested in so we're doing actually a tour, but we need a bit of background, a bit of insight into this because I'm sure you guys will be very interested about this. I know a lot of you are interested in building your own home in Jamaica. Dua will definitely help you up, help you with that. With us as well is Julia. Yeah. Julia actually, she's resettled here in Jamaica from the UK. She's actually a second generation Jamaican. All right, so she's here settled. Right behind us is her is her house and we are on we're in her yard, her beautiful yes. yard. We're we're standing on her beautiful garden. <laughs> yes. Um the thing about what Julia is able to accomplish is that um it's very difficult to get that buying into one of those gated communities that we talk about so often on this channel. Alright, so um Dwight will show us how yes. wherever you have your piece of land you can get affordable housing done so Dwight's DW works they they have a special technology so they don't use the typical block work but it's still it's still concrete steel sand uh, domes right domes yeah so tell us tell us more Dwight so what we do we, we build monolithic domes these are steel reinforced concrete shells so it's a FEMA rate at the one of the world's strongest structures so it's already a strong structure, we just work on making it beautiful. Awesome. So what we add to the dome is a, a thousand gallon water collection under the building, because if you see the shape of the dome, it sheds a lot of rain. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we collect that rain water mm -hmm. and then pump it back into the building. Okay. And we also offer solar units with the buildings. So basically what's, what DW Works is offering is a self-sustainable yes. home yes. that you can take with you anywhere you want in Jamaica. So you find the land anywhere you want it, they can place it. Mm -hmm. And one of the unique features of this particular property or this type of building is you get to have a hands-on role in how you want it to function. Right. So we're going to tour Julia's house to show you how she along with Dwight came together to build her, her it's her, it's her dream home? It is a dream home, yes. Yes? Yes. Why? Tell, tell us why. Well, it's uniquely, I'm living in a circle, two circles. It's a dome house. Mm -hmm. um, it has so many different features, um, the curved walls, yeah. the underground tank, okay. and so, all the sustainable features as well. So. Okay, so why didn't you choose to, to buy into to a, to a, to a community like, you know... A, a, a normal gated community like yeah. what we see coming mm -hmm. out. Um, which are, which are wonderful communities. Why, why were you so drawn to being this different and having this difference be your dream home? Mm. Well, I was offered the dream in Montego Bay and I said, no, that's not me. Um, I was in that period of life where I was a retired teacher or about to retire okay. and I wanted something different in yes. my life. Um, I'd never lived in Jamaica, so I came and I volunteered here and I saw Dwight had built an amazing dome house. Yes. So I okay. thought, if I ever came to live in Jamaica, it wasn't the plan at the time, but if I ever did, I would love to have a dome home. So okay. 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 that was my thought to myself. Well, and here we are now. Here we are now. <laughs> to be honest, everyone, when Adrian said, you know, have you ever seen this before? And he was telling me about a dome, a dome house. I was like, a dome house. Okay, I know what a dome is. But in Jamaica, it's so primitive, what, right? No, well, not, not necessarily pri yes, yeah, kind of it, yeah, primitive. Yeah, it does. It kind does. Of ish, you know? Yeah. I was like a dome house. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Then he then he started showing me um, a lot of the pictures that Dwight had sent. I said, "Well, that is very interesting. Definitely, very interesting and different. Mm -hmm. And there is just something different and unique about it. And there is just." Like, no matter who you are, there's always a fit for you. And a fit for you here in Jamaica. Because yes. we're doing dome houses now. Yes. <laughs> right? All right. So, uh, as Dwight mentioned, Arceus, one of them had <laughs> <laughs> mentioned, it comes solar equipped. So, it's, yes. this is a fully off-grid home that Dwight yes. is offering. Solar equipped, 
with water, water tanks. Tank. Yes. Right. It has its own catchment, so water is um, collected um, based on the special design that you know Dwight has to, to mm -hmm. offer to, to to clients. Yes. And yeah, so you don't have to be reliant on on JPS or you know water NWC, you know whichever. You don't mm -hmm. have to be reliant on any of them. You you are completely happy. In fact, out here that Julia has her her own space. JPS, there's no JPS connection here. Yes. So the, the nearest point is probably five minutes down the road. That's the nearest point, you know, where, where they have connection. So she, she has no issues. She, she right here on, on, on this hillside right here, beautiful. Uh, you, you need to see the view that Julia has in the morning and in the evenings, all right? Yeah. The view is amazing, amazing. And I know a lot of the time, Dwight... Where we, um, where we do construction in Jamaica is very dependent on where our utilities are available. Mm -hmm. So we are thinking about our JPS. And yeah. if we are going to a place that is naive to that setting, we have to think about how much it costs to plant those posts, you know, move the road, mm -hmm. and get the water system. You know, you have to dig up the road to put the... the so it's very, it's, it's very, 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 very interesting um, what you have managed to accomplish with these dome homes. Yes. Um, just by the very design, creating your own water source and then your solar power on top. Awesome. That is awesome. Yes. So. Now we're going to show you Julia's yes. beautiful home. Yes. All right. Yes. Thank you, Julia. You're for allowing us, yes. inviting us into your home. And thank you, Dwight, for sharing this uh, technology, this achievement. I think that it is really an achievement. Definitely. And um, as I was telling Julia, like we are into real estate and we are into all type of real estate. And this is really unique. Like, we love it. <laughs> I want to program. Yes. <laughs> I want to subscribe or something. Yes. yes. Okay. Awesome. Definitely. So let's get into it. Yes. at um, Julia's home and this is one dome. So let's, let's put um, a bit of context to it. So Julia's home is two domes. Mm -hmm. Two domes connected by a hallway. Um, and when I first, when we first drove up, I was like, okay, it's supposed to be a dome home, but I, I don't see domes. <laughs> but um, on close inspections, we see the domes at the side and the middle. So, I mean, you have the option as well to choose, you know, to vary. You can have one dome, two domes. Can we go more than two? Yep, absolutely. Two, three. three. Domes, yeah. three. And, and three domes now, you create a courtyard in, in the middle. Oh. So now you have an enclosed garden space or a pool oh. or whatever you want to do. So All right. You walk in your front door mm -hmm. and you close off from the rest of the world. So and do we, I have ideas? Yeah. <laughs> and, and, oh, trust me. And then also what we include is the veranda and access to the veranda. Yes. And the veranda keeps the building cool because mm -hmm. it keeps the sun off of the dome itself. Okay. So that adds, also adds to the, the temperature. And because Julia's lot is not on a perfectly level prop, um, foundation, mm -hmm. we incorporate earth bag. So earth bag is basically using soil and mm -hmm. cement to we use Because we, are, we have marl in St. Thomas and all over the island mm -hmm. locally. We use a combination of marl, sand, and cement, to, which is what they use to make cement blocks. But what we do is we make our own cement blocks on site, and they are about two feet wide and about five inches thick. So we lay those light blocks and build up to where it's level, and then we create a foundation. Okay. So that's why right. this side is a little higher yeah. than that side. And I was just asking that question, guys, um, before we started. So if you notice right here, in this section right here, it's flat. But right here, we have a, a, a sort of a, a base. Yeah, based on the, the slope of the land, isn't it? Land. Yes. yes. And that's where our tank is. It's and that's, there. and remember, that's you get your tank. Yeah. And then just to, just to note the, the water, um, the watering system or the water catchment system that Dwight was talking about is, um, is actually right here. So when rain falls, the water comes down. Am I right, Dwight? comes down uh, off the roof and naturally is collected in this catchment area right here and in this groove and it is and it goes right to the tank. filtered yeah. down into the tank 
and then in the tank you have your pump system and you also have your water filters so yeah i mean talk about so self-sustainable this is this is it like this is if ever there was a self-sustainable <laughs> um, building all you need this is, is it around you now yes you your solar your water you just need to plant around the yard yes and you have your garden and your outfit completely 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 so I do like this design. I can't wait to go inside and to see what the, 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 well, what the view is inside, what the structure is like inside, and how you've been able to make it into your own home. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Okay, guys, welcome back again to the Delphi family. We're about to do the tour of Julia's home, but we have to do a tour of the backyard first. First, we have a view of the Caribbean Sea. We're in St. Thomas on the south coast of Jamaica and the view is so phenomenal. She has her trees, fruit trees, trees for shade and medicinal purposes. <laughs> I mean, she has a hammock here, ideally placed underneath our tree. Are you, we like, are, are you seeing this? Like, I think that this is perfect. Perfect for retirement, perfect for life. This is awesome and this is really good. So nature has a way of lightening our load and lifting our spirits and this is certainly what is happening here in Julia's backyard. Alright? Very awesome. So we have a deck area around the back with a pergola um, in the middle and of course plants everywhere and she has her own habits. Awesome. Um, what basically is so ideal and is so um, wonderful about what um, Julia and Dwight has been able to accomplish in this place is that you basically she was able to design her perfect retirement home and that is awesome. Um, as you can see, you see you see a semicircle right here. You see a circle right here. You see a semicircle over here, which is not probably not as obvious. Um, but we have our hallway and we have a patio section outside. And that also leads way to the stairs, stair staircase or the stairway that actually goes upstairs. So you do have access to upstairs. Uh, you do have access to the patio that are on the other side of the unit as well. And with these units, the the, um, the benefit is that you can modify your structure. So you can put a patio or you can put um, a run-in. You, you, you can basically expand your patio as wide and as big as you'd want it to. A typical dome house. What would you think in your mind would be the entrance? What would you think? Like a little entrance? Like a little small door? No. It's a double door. And I always invite my viewers to use your imagination and change it up to make it different. And here we'll be welcomed in. Take your shoes off, guys. Take your shoes off. <laughs> Welcome to our home. Because to Julia's home. So, right. this is the hallway. Yes. And this is the hallway that links the two domes that you were like, where yes. are the domes? <laughs> yeah, so the hallway is, you know, a pretty good size, like, stretched out hands, like, very good size. Hallway right here that you can gather and have, well, basically, this hallway can be anything you want it to be, right? Anything you want it to be. And so you. Go ahead. Did you notice my lovely door? Wow. Yes, I did. Eh? I did. Yes. I was inspired by some African carvings when I went to South Africa. Yes. And I went to, I was in the UK and I decided that I designed the picture, I drew it and I sent it to Dwight and then wow. he got the carver mm -hmm. to carve the doors. And okay. So they're very special. Yes. And very special indeed. I do like it. It's very unique. The typical picture that we would um, we would see of dome homes is a very small entrance, but you don't have small entrance, do you? <laughs> you have a very a very nice entrance on both sides, and I do like it. Well, um, I designed it that way, yes, so, so you know I kind of dreamt about it. Yes. And I wanted it to feel yes. airy and mm -hmm. light, and I wanted a lot of light and air to come into the space. Yes, and speaking of light and air, um, we have windows, windows Plenty. all over. Yeah. So in this hallway, we have two windows um, that lets in so much light, also the doors, so it's not dark and dingy. 
and it's not small and cluttered. Because mm -hmm. I walked in and I like it. What's the height here? It's around nine feet. Mm -hmm. the, this nine this feet. hallway right here is nine feet high. Yeah. Awesome. So, so Julia, we noticed that you have two domes on either side of the hallway. Yeah. Um, can you give us an idea of what you decided um, to place on either side? Uh, well, when I came here, I was single. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So I decided to have a dome where maybe I could rent it out. Okay. So it's an um, ensuite bathroom, master suite, a nice area that you can hang out in. And then my other dome has two guest bedrooms, okay. has a kitchen and a living area. So I thought maybe that I would have this side mm -hmm. and I yes. have this side. Yes. yes, yes. But then I thought, well, I actually don't want to be alone. Yeah. So. <laughs> right. Yes. Um, Awesome. I designed it this way so that. So I was saying, you know, the lights in the ceiling are already on, mm -hmm. but Dwight corrected me to tell me that these are actually light tubes from, from up top that um, it lets in the natural light from up top. Yeah, yeah so light, that's light basically tubes. That's sunlight coming through. But it looks like you just turned on a light bulb. Yeah. That's really nice. So this is the Julia's living room. Yes. And uh, remember, this uh, one dorm has uh, split into a living room, a kitchen, and two bedrooms. This one right. dorm over on this side. This one dorm. Yes. So you are versatile. So this is the living room space. And we flow through the living room area, past the entertainment area, past the conversational space, and we're now into the kitchen. And our kitchen, Julia, you've also opted for a different type of kitchen. And yeah. this is one we want to, I love it, yes. We want to highlight this as well. Um, you have, uh, you can basically vary this unit to whatever you want it to be. So if you want to have your granite countertops or Julia has opted to with a steel, stainless steel countertop. Um, with a nice um, natural look and feel, but you can do what you want. Beautiful. Yes. And then they have the stainless steel um, shelves, you yes. know, match back with the with the with the um, the counter space. Yes. Yeah. Open Beautiful. shelving. Yes. Yeah. What what do you call it? Open shelving. Open shelving. Yeah. Yes. Yes, and you can have your space for your refrigerator as well. So I mean, the sky is the limit, and your imagination will definitely determine what you can get. So this, this was a this was a door a doorway. It was a doorway. Okay. And um, when I when I when I met Michael, he said I had the fridge here, and he yes. said, "Well, why don't you move the fridge there, mm -hmm. and then it can slot in the space." Okay. Yes. So. And and then we decided to block up the window, uh, the door. Yeah. Okay. It's a nice. What I quite like is the fact that Julia has her own style, right? So, you know, some of these more rusty kind of decor pieces, a lot of African inspired stuff, or right? even that, that guy be, be, be beside you. <laughs> Beautiful. Um, I wasn't sure whether I wanted it as a dining room mm -hmm. or a guest bedroom. So I decided to leave the space open so that I could put some barn doors there maybe eventually. Yes. Um, at the moment, it's um, a dumping room, <laughs> temporarily. Yeah. So it's a storage um, room. A storage this, room. Is, this was carved. But this is our Indian um, carved Home closer, screen, yes. Home which I brought from yeah. the UK with me when I was wow. shipping my stuff over. Wow. And this came wow. from New York. Yes. And my right here. I over with him when he came um, a few years ago. Awesome. Awesome. Nice. Which he bought an African market <laughs> in New York. Okay. This is what, clear? I'm not sure. Um, I'm not sure. Okay. 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 So definitely, so you see within the, we have the living room space, the kitchen space, and then we also have a nice storage room that could double as a bedroom right here. Right? And then we have this hallway right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this small hallway leads into um, a shower room. Okay and a guest bedroom on the inside you couldn't tell much that this is a dome this is a dome home trust but look at the size of this bathroom and I, <laughs> yes this bathroom yes. is a very 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 healthy sized bathroom 
you have tons of space and right here wow. you get the classic shape of the dome coming off in the bathroom um, where you see the the, the, um, curves. the curves coming down and trust me it doesn't look bad at all it looks really nice it looks really nice right here you have your windows right here so um tons of windows tons of doors and natural light so this is one of our tube lights letting in all the light that you're seeing coming from the roof we have our tube lights with a really good size bathroom and again i like the rustic so this cabinet right here and the vanity that you, what do you call it very very nice and you still have that surface mounted sink yes but i mean i really love this <laughs> this piece right here it's beautiful yes. so the rustic theme really following through after all we're off grid yeah you know, we're, we're on a hillside remote hillside so yes. you have to feel that way yes yes yeah. yes I wanted the feel of like naturalness yes. and the doors. I wanted the breeze to be able to circulate all the bedrooms. So I had mm -hmm. all the doors and all the bedrooms. Yes. Um, and then this is the, just the guest bedroom. Yeah, the guest bed. And we yes. also did bring all the walls to the ceiling so it helped the air circulation. In here is very cool, I must yes, say. Yes. Very, very cool. Yes. All right, so you can have your AC, but it's not a must. No. Yes. Not a must. You can definitely have your AC. And in this room, um, we have the classic dome shape coming off as well. We don't see um, like a ton load of the dome shape in the living room, but right here, we do get a lot of it. You get and the curve. Is, yes, you do get the curves. And it's not bad. Yeah. It's not bad. It's not, it's like, look, look at me. Yeah. And the I ceilings are very high. Oh, above the curves. Yes, they are. That's what I love yes. about them. Yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. And at so, night, you can see the stars coming through and the wow. moon like channels on you sometimes. Wow. It's just really special. Wow. From inside. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. And then Great. we have, remember, we have two rooms over this side. Um, living room and the kitchen in one dome. I think I'm. Yeah. So. So what happens, the other room, the other space that can be a bedroom, it's, 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 doubled as it's, storage. it's used as a storage right now. Temporary. Yes, temporary storage. Is, so this is the door to that section right there. All right, so I mean, the possibility is endless. You choose how you would want your space to flow, you know, and yes. what you want to do with the, the various bedrooms, the different rooms that you have in the building. So yes. it's up to you. So let's go to the other door. All right, so yes. let me lead the way through the passageway. I love the space. Yes, this space is, you know, a nice little passageway. Yeah. And uh, first of all, we have on the right, we have our little den. I'm an avid reader, so my bookshelves are my oh, designs. Wow. Okay. We design the desk and the shelves. Yes. Wow. Uh, okay. Um, yeah. So this is your, your den, your, your den. workspace, your, your reading oh, area, wow. your relaxation area. Yeah. Music. Yes. Mm. Can't hang nice. out here sometimes. Yeah. Nice, nice. We have our, what is this? Our closet. Um, um, it's a little larger. Michael designed a little larger for us. Okay. So. <laughs> what, yes. what is a larger? Sorry. It has our. Wow! Oh, it's a pantry. <laughs> nice. but I like the way so. that he kind of insets it. So the yes. shelves, you know, he has this little eye for design. So yes. That's kind of like. And the door is on the door. Mm -hmm. Yes. Nice. And, nice. Then and that piece, piece on top. Piece of Beautiful. Artwork, glass. Beautiful. Stained glass. Taste yes. our work, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. furniture pieces, and then so this now, is our. Is this your most. primary bedroom? Okay, yes. great. Yes, yes. Great. Wow. wow. So it's huge. What I would like um, for our viewers to appreciate, Julia, yes. is that the space in this area, um, the windows and the doors. What I notice is that the other two spaces on the other side. So you open it up. 
Yeah. And you create, so you made it one bedroom. So you could split this or, you know, open it if you wish. It could be four so bedrooms. It, so it's customizable, highly customizable. Very customizable. Yeah. We have our tube lights coming in. Yes. We have windows on either side and we also have a door that leads outside. And this door leads on to um, the continuation of the patio around. So on this side of uh, the unit, we have a continuation of the patio going mm -hmm. all the way around. Mm -hmm. So again, mm -hmm. you can decide, you, you determine your design, Absolutely. how you would have it, yeah. um, your take on it. So Julia, your take is very beautiful and we can definitely yes. see from, um, from looking exactly what you wanted to, ac to accomplish. Feels like your nature. I, I love that. Yeah, I love that. You close the doors yes. in the morning and you're just out. Mm -hmm. you I, imagine, outside. I imagine opening this door and as I said, in yeah. all that sunlight yes. in, in the morning. This place, you can, you can create a, an Airbnb, a fabulous Airbnb out of, out, of, out of something like this, you know, mm -hmm. provide ecotourism. This would be like a prime ecotourism hotspot. A, a, a property like this, yes. right? I would use kind of rustic furniture, and the design, the decor, everything is just perfect. All right, a lot of tourists will love it, and you know, Julia, being from overseas, this is what she, mm -hmm. you know, what she desires for herself to live in. You know, tranquility, peace. Yes. Definitely. Awesome. 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 Yes. yes. Definitely. All right, and um. Wow. So work in progress. Uh, this is going to our walk-in closet. Area. We'll have yes. built shelves in one day. Yeah, yeah, so we yeah. have a walk-in closet. Over to, to your left. Yes. To your left here. Yeah. And it's a pretty good size walk-in closet yeah. as well. And over on this side, this this is a beautiful mural. Beautiful mural. Again, your carved woodwork <laughs> pieces are coming out. <laughs> yes. Very beautiful. This yes. looks expensive. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Yes. Yes. Um, this, I'm sure this has a lot of age on it. It does. Um, do you have any idea? Not really. You Not you really. bought it. I bought it when I was in the UK. Okay. Yes. Your children's children, <laughs> you know, they they appreciate it. I'm sure. Yeah. You know, um, it's it's beautiful. So again, a kind of um off the beaten path dwelling. You know, yes. Julia's you know design aesthetics. You know, basically showing you, you know, what you can do with a dome home like the one that Dwight, yes. you know, did. Yes. Awesome. Awesome. And then we have um, a bathroom right the here master. as well. Wow. Master wow. <laughs> so the closet, the so closet oh is God. a really good size, I guys. I have wow. a bath. So mm -hmm. that was a, like a no. So you, yeah. Nice. No deal. Yeah. yeah. So you have a bath, nice. plus a standing shower. Yeah. So, I noticed that thing, is it a pump? What is it? No, it isn't a pump. Mm -hmm. It is an Inespa, an Inespa Spa, um, what, how should I call it? And it has minerals inside it. So okay. when the water runs through it, it has okay. these amazing minerals wow. that help to kind of relax you. So. Wow. Oh, so <laughs> this dispenses them through the shower? Yes. Okay, yes. okay. Never, never, never seen something like this before. Right, right, yes. That yes, this is beautiful. And uh, mosaic tiles all the way around in the shower area. Well, it's because awesome. Because it's a curb, yes. you need those tiny mosaics. The smaller, the smaller ones. Great. And it, yes. it, it works. It does. It's, it's awesome. What I would like to highlight is that Adrian is um, See, oh, above, above six, six feet. feet. Yes, and I can stand comfortably. And this yes. Is, this is he, you know? Yes, yes, yes. Oh. At no point in the house I feel like I'm clustered, like I am being impeded, my movements are impeded. It's it's perfect. Alright, now you see this bathroom is extensive. The floor plan is customizable. If you want to have a smaller bath and make the bedroom bigger if you want, you could have two baths on this side. Say for example there are two bedrooms. I mean there are mm -hmm. the, the possibilities are endless. Yes, you, you know? basically design what you want. Yes. And it is. Um, yes. I find it to be extremely um, interesting. Yes. Mm, I find it to be very interesting because one would think that for a dome home that it should be small inside, yes. but it's actually pretty big. Mm -hmm. yeah, and course. the space is certainly not small yeah. and it is very mm -hmm. modern and it's customizable. I think that what the white has been able to accomplish here is really awesome. Trust, it's, it's, per, it's, it's great, it's great. Um, yeah, I love, and I love your decor style too. Mm -hmm. 
Um, these lamps here, I'm sure you put these in afterwards. Mm -hmm. These lamps to the side of the, of the vanity, of the mirror here. Definitely. You know? So all your electrical work is done. Um, you get your own water collection system. Yeah. So where you are, you don't have to interface with NWC. Mm -hmm. And that can be very cheap. So you see, she's, okay. she, she's running her tub here. <laughs> Oh, she's yeah. running her tub. Right she, to the top. Yeah. <laughs> she fills it all the way up. She don't have to worry about end of the sea, the water. Yes. She can enjoy her, her bath. Trust me. End of the sea and every month when you get that water bill for 250 You don't need to do a bit on that. <laughs> we got a water bill for two hundred and fifty three thousand dollars at the end of a month. Yeah, this is where I leak. That, but, was, yeah. that was crazy. <laughs> Saying, don't have to worry about end of yeah. the sea. That's foreign to me. I don't know what, <laughs> yes, what you're talking about. Don't worry about JPS. <laughs> Alright, so we're outside uh, Julia's home, and this is another aspect of um, her idea of our retirement home. And again, I do like it. She's covered with greenery, <laughs> Julia, as you would have it, right? Yes. As you would have it. And um, we have the um, patio. And what I wanted to highlight is when I when when I actually um, drove up. This is what I saw. I said, well, this looks like a house. It doesn't look like a dome. <laughs> you know? But um, you have so much option. So on this side of um, Julia's home, we have the patio running all around. And so you notice that when we were in Julia's bedroom, that the, the doors in her bedroom opened up onto a patio. And this is it. So the position in the white of these, these windows and doors is according to the, the atmosphere here. Yeah. So our wind almost always comes from that side to this side. The only time it changes during a hurricane mm -hmm. when it comes to that side. So, and then our sunrise is here. Mm -hmm. So we have the wind, so we try to create as many openings on this side so the wind oh. can go. And then with the interior walls also, except for the bathroom, we stop them about nine feet so that keeps the airflow through the door. Okay. So, Jupe, yes, uh, you have your small See? Look at that. Yeah. This is really but just nice. from this little one, it gets. You know, wow. Yeah. So many. So yeah. many June, June plum, June plum, June plum, whatever, you know? Yes. Yeah. So, so many. Your backyard, your yard in totality is just surrounded by nature trees. Yeah. Um, fruit yeah. trees, flowers. Plants, um, it's just a beautiful environment that you've created, and as you can see, the patio is coming all the way around here. Um, all the way around here. Oops. Basically, um, what I'm seeing right here is the entrance to the watering system mm -hmm. that is being stored below. Yeah. So, have your water pump, um, and this is your little door that you can go in. These are nice like, access points pump and filter. Yes, okay. And you can basically um, determine your the water level, yep. so you can have a multiple um, filtration system. You can determine the, the, your chlorine levels and all those things. Um, our solar installer has a pump now that you can access from your phone. Okay. So you can turn on the phone. You can check your water levels on your phone. Okay. So you you can realize if you need to tap up so you're not caught in a situation where oh, you, all of a sudden you run out of water. Mm -hmm. Okay. It gives a heads. Very much uh, You have so. a little nature walk going on right here. Yeah, we designed the pathways, the stone pathways. We went to, I think, St. Elizabeth or somewhere um, and we saw how they designed something. We yes. Thought, yeah. You like that, eh? We like that style. Yes. So. And you have a pergola right here with your vines running on. Yeah, that's where we got married. Awesome. Wow. Wow. So Julia, it's a special place. So Julia's husband is Michael and they got married here. It's so awesome yeah. that you know, they, they had the opportunity to find their dream home and even yes. get married on their dream home. On wow. their plot, yes. On our plot, but we're very yes. select few people because it was COVID time. So. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, that is so cool. Yeah. And that means that it's a very cost effective wedding. <laughs> Boy, when you have to go and rent a venue, Julia, <laughs> it's, it's really, it really doubles and triples that price. <laughs> so thank you very much again yeah, for even inviting us into your backyard and for showing us that you're very intimate setting. Thank you, thank you. And for letting all our viewers know 
that this is possible and it's possible in Jamaica. Absolutely. Um, I'm sure that a lot of our viewers will be taken by surprise. So this is one of the ideas of our channel. Capturing real estate in its raw form, yeah. in its various forms, and certainly in its beautiful form, which is basically these dome homes. Yes, and yes. And Julia's take on this dome home is awesome. And we do like, we love. You hear those, those wind chimes yes. in the background? <laughs> I knew that Julia Beautiful. really thought about and thought out and had time to plan and execute and I'm really happy for you Julia Thank you. and I'm really happy that you carried us into your comfy space yes. that you and your husband have created. Thank you once again and this is the Delphi family and you know we love to carry all these good stuff here. Yeah. Dwight has um, a whole you know, eco-tourism aspect to, to this whole thing. If you are interested you can also come here, you can settle here as well. All contact information would be in the description so they have a whole interview process and yeah you can give them a call and find out all about um, you know owning one of these homes right here or if you want to build something on your own lot of land you can do that as well thank you Definitely Julia very you much yeah. all right very very beautiful we are happy with you know we came out all right yeah man and so thanks guys for watching we really appreciate you stopping by those wind chimes in behind us is <laughs> is the music. It's beautiful. Yeah, and, and they're, they're the heavier type. <laughs> they're the heavier type, so they 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 give you more of a um a, a, a lower um kind of sound. It's not annoying, you know. Nice vibe. Nice vibe. Yes. <laughs> awesome. So thanks guys for watching. Do remember to click that like button. All right. Subscribe if you haven't already. All right. Turn your post notification bell. Ensure the setting is on all, and that's the one with the dancing symbol to sign yep. the bell. Guys, if you want to reach out to us, if you have a special or an interesting story to tell, like Dwight here, you can always reach out to us, send us an email, or reach us, reach out to us on Instagram, the Delprat Family, on Instagram, the Delprat Family at gmail.com is our email address. Reach out to us. Let us hear those interesting stories. All right.